work. Um, starting off with Memento and then Insomnia and then going back and watching Following. And so it was, it was a real privilege to, to begin to work with him. Killian Murphy is an Irish film and theater actor. He started his career as the lead singer, guitarist, and songwriter of a rock band called The Sons of Mr. Green Jeans. In 2006, he received a Golden Globe nomination for Breakfast on Pluto. His film, The Dark Knight, won the ACCA Award for Best Cast Ensemble in 2008. He was granted the Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Solo Performance in 2012 for portraying Thomas Magill in Mr. Man. For Peaky Blinders, he became the recipient of the Golden Fippa Award for Best Actor in a TV Series and Serials in 2014. Ask you questions and uh, and demand of you as an audience member, and I think that is wonderful in, in kind of in cinema today. We we need that. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Killian Murphy, but he's also known as Killy. He was born May 25th, 1976 in Cork, Ireland, making him 45 at the time of this production. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall or 1.75 meters. While critics have noted him for his chameleonic performances in diverse roles, fans are mesmerized by Murphy's distinctive blue eyes. Irrespective of the worldwide fame he gained, Murphy has never gotten used to the celebrity circuit and constantly makes sure his private life remains under wraps. That's why this Ireland native has no desire to move to Hollywood and lived in London for 15 years before moving back to Dublin in 2015 with his family. Reserved and very private, Murphy does not have a stylist or a publicist and prefers to travel without an entourage and attend film premieres alone. He stated in interviews that he intentionally practices a lifestyle that will have no interest in the media, paparazzi, or tabloids. Music remains a large part of Killian's life, although he no longer plays in a band. He still regularly plays music with friends, on his own, and writes songs and goes to shows. Murphy has been an agnostic for the majority of his adult life, but after doing Sunshine, he became an atheist. He participated in the 2007 Rock the Vote Ireland campaign, targeting young voters for the general election, and campaigning for the rights of the homeless with the organization Focus Ireland. In 2011, he became a patron for the UNESCO Child and Family Research Center at the National University of Ireland, Galway. He's closely associated with the work of Professor Pat Dolan, Director UCFRS, and UNESCO Chair in Children, Youth, and Civic Engagement. In 2015, he was named one of GQ's 50 Best Dressed Men. Murphy originally auditioned for the part of Batman in Batman Begins, but the role was eventually played by Christian Bale. But the director, Christopher Nolan, liked Murphy's audition so much, he gave him the role of Batman's arch nemesis, Dr. Jonathan Crane, who's a developing character in the series. An avid runner, Killian was a vegetarian for many years and only began eating meat again for his role in Peaky Blinders. The actor's a non-smoker, but had to smoke a lot of cigarettes and is rarely seen without one in Peaky Blinders, and everyone's surprise, it's about 3,000 in a series. Murphy stated in an interview, I don't smoke, but people did smoke all day and night then. I use herbal rose things. They're like my five a day. I asked the prop guy to count how many we use during the series. He said it's 3,000. He claims that one of the things he enjoys most about the Irish countryside is that people leave me alone. Killian Murphy auditioned six times for the role of Damien in Kent Loach's Irish War of Independence tale, The Wind That Shakes the Barley. Loach had decided to film the movie in Cork, Ireland, and Murphy was from Cork, and it also contributed to one of the reasons for Killian to be in the film as Damien. Murphy married his longtime girlfriend, Yvonne McGuinness, in 2004, They'd met in 1996 at one of his band shows. They have two sons, Malachi, who was born in 2005, and Aaron, who was born in 2007. If, you're, if your job is to portray something truthfully and honestly, then if, if it's happening in front of your eyes, it helps you enormously and it's a big advantage. Killian is the oldest child of Brendan Murphy, an employee of the Irish Department of Education, and his French tutor wife. 
He has a brother, Piety, and two sisters, Orla and Sile, raised in Ballin Temple, another suburb of Cork. Killian began playing music and composing songs at 10 years of age. His family's Roman Catholic, and Murphy attended the Catholic School Presentation Brothers College, where he had his initial taste of acting. His English teacher, poet William Wall, encouraged him to pursue acting. But at that age, Murphy was more interested in music. He, along with his brother Piety, were part of several bands in their late teens and early 20s, the most prominent being the Sons of Green Jeans. The band was offered a five-album record deal in 1996 by Acid Jazz Records, but they ended up not accepting it as Piety was still in secondary school. In the same year, he enrolled at the University of College Cork to study law. But as he himself said, there was no ambition behind it. He was busy for the most part with his band, and his love for performing had begun to take a definitive shape. As a result, his education suffered, and he could not pass the first-year exams. Killian Murphy's love for acting increased exponentially after watching Corkadorka Theatre Company's production of A Clockwork Orange in Dublin. In September 1996, he debuted as a professional actor in the play Disco Pigs. About a year later, he acted in Declan Rex's short film Quando. In 1999, he started his debut feature film, Sunburn, alongside Paloma Baeza and Sinead Crenan. After a succession of independent films, he was cast as a lead in 28 Days Later in 2002. In 2006, he played Damien O'Donovan in Ken Loach's Palme d'Or winning film, The Wind That Shakes the Barley. Besides these, he's played a transgender foundling looking for love in Breakfast on Pluto, romance Lucy Liu in Watching the Detectives, and starred alongside Robert De Niro in Sigourney Weaver in Red Lights. His most important outing on the small screen is in the British crime drama Peaky Blinders. He stars as Tommy Shelby, the cunning and ambitious leader of the romantic Irish gang Peaky Blinders. He also served as the narrator for BBC's nature documentary Atlantic, The Wildest Ocean on Earth in 2015. In 2016, Murphy portrayed World War II Army officer Joseph Gabchik in Arthropoid alongside Jamie Dornan. In 2017, Murphy had a minor role as a shell-shocked Army officer in Christopher Nolan's epic war film Dunkirk. A Quiet Place Part II, released May 28, 2021, stars Murphy as Emmett, a hardened survivor and old family friend of the Abbots. His character reluctantly takes in the Abbots following the events of the first film. After some horrific traumatic event which has reduced him to this sort of shivering soldier and that's where the name came from because I think he's a sort of an amalgam. He earns money through acting and music. He has a total net worth of 20 million dollars. From 2001 to 2015 he lived in a house in London along with his family. The family later moved to Dublin. Killian Murphy owns the following cars, a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, an Audi A8L, an Audi Q7, a Lexus RX450. A Ferrari. A Range Rover.